Good evening, folks, and happy almost Sabbath. Uh, one of my favorite, well, it is my favorite day of the week because it's the day that we get to stop all the busyness. Well, most people do. For me, it's, of course, a kind of a busy day, but I still feel different on the Sabbath. I feel like it's a special day. I feel an extra blessing in the rest that I get. And I have the joy of worshiping with brothers and sisters in Christ. And even when we couldn't join together in church, I enjoy the time we spend uh, online on Zoom and doing the different things we could do to get together. And this evening I thought, why don't we have a little devotional thought talking about the Sabbath and the importance of the Sabbath, not only for us, but for us to share with others because of the blessing we get when we honor God, our creator, on his memorial of creation, his rest day. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, I wanna thank you for giving us a day of rest, for knowing that we need a day to recharge, to rejuvenate, to spend with our creator, with our redeemer, and with the king of the universe. Lord, bless us this evening as we begin to enter into that Sabbath rest, I pray in Jesus' name, amen. I want to read a passage from Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58, 13 and 14. I'm sure you've heard these voices, vo uh, verses before. Uh, they're important verses, ones that we as Adventists uh, probably have read more than once uh, in our study on why it's important to keep the Sabbath day. But here's what it says, Isaiah 58, 13 and 14. And it says this, if you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my, that's God's holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy and honorable day of the Lord, and then I'm going to skip a little bit, then you shall delight yourself in the Lord. If we delight ourselves in keeping his Sabbath, when we choose to keep his Sabbath day, we will find worshiping the Lord a delight in every area of our life. Isn't that wonderful? I would pray that each one of us will turn away our foot from doing our own thing, from commerce, from busyness, from thinking even about work. Just turn our attention fully to the Lord. It should be on him all the time, but especially on the Sabbath day when we have no business thinking about business other than the Lord. I'm going to read a little from Bible Echo, a magazine that was put out long, 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 long time ago, 1896. And here's what it says. Many professing Christians of today are closing their hearts and minds to the sun of righteousness, whose bright beams would chase away the darkness and the mist that exists there. They refuse the light and make God's requirements and will of secondary importance in the place of the rest day given them by Jehovah. They accept a counterfeit a counterfeit Sabbath with a little S there, a counterfeit Sabbath. They worship an idol and transgress God's holy law by trampling on the Sabbath, which he had instituted and blessed. Now, when Isaiah wrote this, uh, the people were in dire need of, of, of uh, help from the Lord. And Isaiah is reminding him, if you would just honor God on his Sabbath, you would get a blessing from him. He, your protection uh, would, would be secure because you are worshiping him and honoring him and doing what he has asked of you. And he says the same to us today. We need to honor him and do the things that he has asked. And one of those, one with a great blessing and one that reminds us of him being the creator and creating all things is the Sabbath day. I want a blessing on the Sabbath. I know you do. So let's make sure that we are honoring God. And there goes my little phone. We'll just get it set up again here. My apologies. One day I might get myself a tripod of sorts, I hope, uh, which would be very helpful. Um, I haven't found one yet that'll work with my phone, but maybe one day I will get one and uh, then I won't have this problem anymore. Hopefully, let's see. Hopefully that will stay there. All right, let's see. Is that okay again? Let's try. Let's keep going here. Uh, let's read on. The object of the Sabbath was that all humanity might be benefited after God had made the world in six days. He rested and blessed and sanctified the day from which he rested from all of his work, which he had created uh, and made. So in other words, he blessed this day. It's a special day. It's set aside. It's a memorial of creation. It's to remind us of his ownership, of his redemption, and of his power and his authority being supreme over our lives and over everything that we have. Um, 
he set apart a special day for humans to rest from their labor as uh, that as they should look upon the earth beneath and the heavens above, the tangible proofs of God's infinite wisdom, their hearts might be filled with love and reverence for their maker. Had the human family always kept the day which God had blessed and sanctified, there would never have been an infidel in the world. For if the Sabbath was given as a memorial of the creator's work, it was given upon a special uh, a day in a special sense people might draw near in their minds from the things of the earth and contemplate the things of god and his power imagine that if people would have just kept the sabbath and honored the sabbath the way god asked we would never have had people of unbelief in the world because there is something special about honoring god on the day that he made special the heathen in their blindness bow down to the idols of wood and stone. These be our gods, they say. Like we've talked about in the messages over the last few weeks, they create a designer religion, a religion that fits them, choosing what they would like to do over what God has asked of them, choosing a counterfeit for the real day, which God set apart and sanctified and blessed as holy and putting in place of it an idol or a counterfeit day, a day which God has not commanded uh, for their worship like Cain uh, picking their own thing over God's thing. For in six days the Lord made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rest of the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it in the heavens that declare the glory of their maker, the sun shining in its strength, giving life and beauty uh, to all created things, the moon and the stars and the works of his hands. We see the superiority of God when we worship. He is the God that made the heavens, the earth, and the sea and all that is in them. So there you have it, folks. When we worship God uh, on the Sabbath, it's not something we do because we're legalistic and we're following the letter of the law because that's how we're going to be saved. We are doing it because we are reminding ourselves that God is our creator, that he did create the world in six literal days and that he did create a special day to be blessed and hallowed and sanctified for you and I. So let us enter into a Sabbath day rest this evening, thinking about that with joy in our hearts, expecting a blessing from on high because this coming up very shortly is God's Sabbath day. Blessings and let's pray. Father in heaven, I ask that you would be with us now, that you would bless us and watch over us. Lord, I thank you for giving us a Sabbath day, a day to rest, a day to come away from the cares of the world and honor you. May we honor you on the day that you set aside as holy and may we receive a blessing from on high because we have turned our foot away from desecrating your Sabbath and because we are honoring you, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, folks, blessings and have a wonderful rest of your evening.